Hello right, bags, it's Joe Plays Games back again with another Ark Survival Evolved tutorial video. I've got a very special one today guys. We're going to see if we can improve the actual game loading up. At the moment, update 738 has a massive problems. You'll have seen all my videos on it. I've been ranting, I've been raging. Forget all that though. We're going to try and see if we can fix it or improve some certain things. I've got a very special guest here. I've got Lee the G666. You might have recognised him from his amazing world tour he showed me of his sort of river village. Um, it was just huge and epic. I'll leave the link down below. Go and give that one a check. Go and give it a thumbs up. It's amazing. It's like the biggest build I've ever seen in Ark. But he's been mucking around with commands. He's been mucking around with a whole host of commands so he wants to show me right now I'm gonna do it live we're literally gonna just literally go in and see what he's actually done to improve he's gonna go through with me as well so that I can pass them on to you guys and in fact we might even just pass it over to Lee and Lee will go through some of the commands himself so how are you doing Lee not too bad dude not too bad not too bad uh, so try yeah, not to uh, break the game Try not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. These commands are really testing the Xbox's endurance and power capabilities, guys. These obviously commands were based on the PC code, and the PC code and the Xbox One code, um, in terms of gameplay, is not that different. So, literally, lots of the commands just need to be enabled, and you can utilize them the same way you can, no matter what it's on, whether it's on PC, whether it's on Xbox, because they're all made using Unreal Engine, and the same codes, you can even use the same codes on different games, as long as they're made on Unreal Engine, you can use lots of these codes, but Lee has been mucking around with render distances, um, all sorts of atmosphere changes, anything to improve the running of Ark, and at the moment, that is a big thing for everyone, if you've had trouble loading up your world, if you had trouble going to a new biome if you've had trouble just doing anything keep getting dashboarded or kicked out of your world then I'm not saying these will definitely work or it will definitely fix the complete problem but Lee has had much success doing building and just playing in his world since putting these commands in so we're going to give them a go we'll have a bit of fun and even if they don't work for the fix I think they're going to be really important to improve the look of your game and the running of your game in the future um, so Lee is it safe for me to look up yet yeah, no problem at all. Alright, so I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look up, look up. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, it's a bit, it's night time, it's right. very, it's very night time, and I've gotta change my gap. Won't make too much difference though, it's pretty dark. No, no, that's good, that's good. So here we go, we are in the world, obviously you can see the yellow barrier because we're on a non-dedicated world. And this is um, Lee's amazing tree village he's building, so we're going to be doing a proper world tour on this soon. Um, but for now, we're just taking a little peek around. And he's going to show me some commands and show me how they improve things and what they do. Um, it's looking pretty epic, dude. Right, I'm, I'm way up, I've got a plant species X attacking me, and the screen's pretty yellow, so I guess I'm, I'm a bit far away from you. I'm going to start travelling through. Yeah. Right. Okay, so like Lee, move here, dude. Uh, uh, but explain the difference between the commands and why you have to do them each time you, why why it's on you right. and not not on the world. So it's not about the world; it's on you. All right, everybody plays on a next uh, separate Xbox. I think it's on a separate save. You know, so if you say if you're uh, doing like settings on your Xbox, them yeah. settings are still on your Xbox because the game uh, engine is still on your Xbox that you're using. All right, you're using okay. is an internet connection to connect between the two people, you know, so okay. every person's commands are separate. Right, so if I do these now, these will hopefully carry forward. I may have to re-enter a couple of them because some of them have been a bit glitchy. But every time I join a yeah. world, if I want to improve the look of something or change some of the graphical settings, then I need to make mm -hmm. sure I put these codes in rather than thinking you've got to do it on the dedicated server or the non-dedicated server. Okay, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's correct. It's completely and these... down to the person. These uh, ones what got I tend to do is go. On. Sorry, no, no, go on. So uh, yeah, you. what I what I tend to do is put them in every time I get into the world. So the first thing I do when I get into the world uh, is let the world load in. Uh, yeah. Get past like the judgery load. Just let it smooth out a minute. And as soon as it smooths out, start putting them in. Okay, cool. Now I've also shown some of these guides uh, commands. Um, I showed you guys the ground clutter one, and I think I showed you guys the um, the bloom and the reflection. If you ain't seen that video, again, I'll leave the link down below. It's basically just two or three commands that improve the look of the game, so that you can find things on the floor. These commands all kind of hit on the last update um, or the one before this, I do believe. Um, so they've been running for about three or four weeks now. People have been using them a lot just to make the game run a bit quicker or just look a bit easier. Because um, you know, if the game looks 
a little bit less cluttered with certain things like atmosphere and clouds and sunshine then the game generally does run a little bit better Right, so go and check out my link down below for the video. It will show you how to remove ground clutter so it literally you won't see any bushes or grasses on the floor or anything like that. And also bloom quality. And bloom quality, like that, that improves things massively as well. So you won't see like reflections on metal. That's a video I've already done. What I didn't know was all these other commands that Lee's been mucking around with. So the first one he's telling me to do is you need to type in r.atmosphere leave a space and five and it doesn't matter if you're on someone else's server or your own you don't need to type in admin cheat for this you just need to type in r.atmosphere leave a gap and then type in a number so originally you start at five that's what the game's set to so if you delete that and put zero we should see in front of me all this fog and round the trees be lifted look at that you can see the difference guys i'm going to put that back to five just to show you what keep watching keep watching and you can see the fog kind of comes in again. So again, if we put it back to zero one more time, we'll actually have a proper look around. And you can see it gets lifted. Oh, wow. Look how clear everything is, dude. You like that? That is pretty cool, dude. That is pretty cool. I can still see some light shafts coming through, but definitely all the fog's yeah. gone. I keep the light shafts. Uh, people say turn them off. But once you actually get rid of the atmosphere and you do the bloom and uh, you, you do the shadows and everything, the light shafts actually look nice, so I like. I'll see what we'll do. We'll do the um, bloom quality as well. Might as well save everyone having to go and click on another video. So for bloom qualities, R dot bloom quality. You got it. And zero quality. Obviously, if you're using smart glass, like we said, go ahead and use that instead. Um, Lee said there's a bit of a glitch or problem with some people's smart glasses at the moment. It only types in half the commands, so be careful with that one. Um, bloom quality zero. Oh, did I leave? Yeah, bloom quality. Yeah, I've put the thing right in. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, saw something. Not see much. Yeah, yeah was, you'll I see a slight flicker. flicker. You won't see much of a change up here. Okay, and then the last one, I'm going to put in the SG ground clutter one. So these really do can help guys, you know make the appearance of arc look a bit better it might not necessarily make the game look better because some of these are in there for a reason you know fog makes the game look atmospheric um you know the shine on pieces of metal and stuff that like there's there for a reason but if you're not that bothered and you want the game to run a bit better and not look so heavily focused on some of these um sort of key attributes you can turn them off so um sg clutter And then, is it is just clutter or is it SG clutter quality? No, SG. Yeah. Ground clutter. Ground. There we go. I knew it was that one. Clutter quality. Then zero. Now these codes can be a bit long and obviously you might not want to have to do this every time you load up your game. But if you're quite serious about building, then this is definitely a must. So sg.groundclutterquality, leave a space, type in zero. And what that does, gets rid of all the bushes, all the, you know, the things that, like the blades of grass, the extra sort of blades of grass and bushes and everything you don't necessarily need. Oh, I accidentally fell off. So we'll go and check it out first hand might as well and you can see look there's no bushes on the ground you do get like a couple of big ones but not as many as you normally get and if i put it back up um to five and again there you go look you can see it's all spawned in you can see all these tiny little bits of grass and bushes and if we get rid of it again put it back to zero the reason the big bushes do not disappear is because they're harvestable uh harvestable so oh, if it's a harvestable right. bush they will not disappear so even better, so, so if you're on a server, it could actually improve how okay. you can play the game, because now you know exactly what there you go. need to gather. That's really cool, dude. So again, it, very useful if you're playing like a game where you might... You can do this on PvP servers as well. You can do this on dedicated servers, you can do it on PvE, PvP. You can do this on any sort of server you can imagine. So go ahead and try some of these out. Right, next up, dude. Right, have you got your ground clutter on zero? I have. Sweet. All right. The next one, uh, we're going a bit extreme with this one. So we're going to go R dot. Uh, shadow dot. Dot. 
shadow dot then all one word is max resolution max resolution then space so, and one two eight space one two eight okay guys so this is going to be big we'll see how it goes right um make sure <laughs> make sure you know how to reset it so i'm going to show you how to reset it as well just in case you guys have any problems but r dot shadow dot max resolution leave a space one two eight let's do this thing have a look at the shadows on the floor of the trees they should be round now instead of like all leaves oh sugar yes yeah, so if i put it back to zero uh, no, you'd well. have to put no. it to 512. Oh, 512. Okay, so it's, it's a bigger number. 512. Let me try doing that while I'm looking at shadows. It works oh, in yeah, megabytes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, dude. There you go. So that's a better way I'm going to explain that one because Lee just explained it to me because I was being a dumbass. But you can see the leaves are moving around, the shadows on the screen there. You can see them just where Lee is. Um, they're flitting around. You can see the little sunlight. By reducing it from 512 down to 128. 126, 128. 128. It makes the shadows basically like a blob. So you can't see as much detail. You see the difference there? Now it's just a bit more circular. Now so run again, around, dude. That is really cool, dude. Frame rate boost? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, it almost feels like a PC. Obviously, things are glitching a little bit. Things are like popping in suddenly, like the rocks and stuff. Um, and you can see like the the shading the the sort of tessellation on it um but definitely this is definitely something you, some of you might find really useful others might be just looking oh, at this and going you what oh, i'm never going to do this but definitely if you're a builder if you like building things and you want to show off your maps this is something you should do in lee's been just um sending out some messages um with pictures to some of the art developers so we can get really good response on twitter from some of these pictures because it just looks amazing it looks almost like pc guys and i know we are actually turning down the settings we are actually reducing some of the settings and we're actually turning some of them up or turning them off but it does make the rest of the map look really cool when you do that so it is something you can play around with and toy about with i will leave the link down below um to a website that's got some of these commands on and you can just do it at your own leisure Right, what else have you got to show me, Mr. G? Well, on the code side at the moment, on the command code, that's it at the moment. The rest are still being tested at the moment because I don't want right. to like, give people codes that are like, going to crash the game for them. Oh, no, go on. Give me, do things. give me one code one. that's going to crash the game. Give me one. This last have something crazy. Okay, something crazy. Um, there we go. Let's give it. Yeah, so, R dot. R dot yeah. Simple dynamic lighting. Oh my god. <laughs> Simple you definitely <laughs> need a smart glass for this. Simple di and you know you you need to know how to spell as well. Dynamic dynamic light in lighting. Light in Yeah. Right. And let's put a space and put yeah. one. One. What we're okay. going to do is turn the detail up because we've turned the um, graphics down, so we're going to turn the lighting detail up. So we'll put it to one and press uh, enter. Okay, right. So R dot simple dynamic lighting, leave a space and put one. Oh, oh, it's frozen on me. Oh, yeah, look, I Don't can worry. see the change. I can see the change. So, what does this one do, dude? Uh, basically, uh, the simple dynamic lighting by default is actually turned off. Uh, what we're doing is that we're actually turning it on. Um, we're basically turning it on to a higher level than what it's set at. I think it's at something like 0 0.4 on a basic. Um, we take it up to 1. Um, but then, like I say, it makes the actual uh, resolution uh, look a bit higher. You know, when right, it comes okay. to shadows on trees and bark and stuff like that. Okay, cool see things i can see right. it's definitely it has an impact on things that appear though like um things are kind of just appearing in front of me a bit closer rather than being rendered yeah. that far away so yeah. i guess that's the downside to it but the, the trees look pretty cool everything looks pretty good okay right so just try them ones we try dudes give it a try you know let me know in the comment section how you got on with it like what happened 
Um, did you notice an improvement? Has it improved the, the rate of your game, the way that you play your game? It'd be really interesting to see as well some of your builds. So I'm going to start doing this. Anytime I do a world tour from now on in future, I may use some of these settings just to make the game look a little bit better or your build look a little bit better. So thank you very much. Lee, I don't know where you are. I'm lost in your amazing build. We're getting a bit of a sneak peek, guys. That's something we're going to be showing you very soon. Lee is like a master builder. He really is a, a great builder. He, you know, all his own ideas. He's just a really cool dude. Um, so we'll be showing one of these worlds again very soon. You can see it just looks amazing. I really want to walk around it right now, but we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it right now. If you want to see this video, hit the thumbs up on this video, and I will do a world tour on Wednesday, probably on Lee's world. I'll be Joe Plays Games. This has been Lee the G six six six. Go and check him out. He's got his own YouTube channel. He does flybys. He yeah, shows clips. Him. Yeah, it shows clips of his world that he built. So if you're not seeing that, go and look at that. It's much better than the tour I did because he's doing it in like really slow motion and just showing you some of the shots and everything else. So it's really cool. Hit him up on Twitter and Xbox as well. He's full of answers and you know if you've got any questions about building an arc, I'm sure he'd be happy to invite you in and show you some maybe his world or he'll let you know some questions and stuff. So I'm Joey Plays Games and I'll no see problem. you for another video very soon. Bye bye.